Hello, I'm Lauren Steele, and I live here at Hamilton Native Outpost Headquarters, and we wanted to talk a little bit about quail and how many quail I've been hearing and seeing around here. Um, it's been quite something to see the difference as we've added more habitat in the area over the years. There's always been some quail around, but this year it's been exceptional, and I think it's got to do with the habitat changes that have been happening. Last night, the, the quail were calling. There was three or four birds calling at the same time, I mean, literally on top of each other to where I could not distinguish one bird from another. And uh, I think that's got to do with what we're doing here, not only with the addition of, of natives, but then also the use of grazing and fire uh, within that. My wife keeps our family milk cow around here, and so it's getting grazed with, with that cow, just on a, a real small grazing cell. We're doing rotational grazing, and uh, she's moving that cow around, and there's a bull with her at the moment and a couple of calves, but we're not talking about a, a big herd of cattle but it is still getting the, what we want for vegetation management. So the grazing is helpful to quail because it, it keeps vegetation shorter and it opens up the area down at ground level where those, it's really for the brood as much as anything. Um, it keeps it where that brood can move around as well as keeping things a little more vegetative. There tends to be more insects um, things for those little chicks to eat and bugs so it keeps for a healthy little quail as they grow up and, uh, and the adults as well. It matches up with the research that that we've been hearing about from the Missouri Department of Conservation and what makes habitat good for quail and grazing seems to be a big part of that and fire as well. Uh, just to give you a little background to what's happened here, we, we used to hear the quail down here on the western side, down towards the creek bottom quite a bit, and uh, not so much in other areas, but then this big hillside back here to the, to the south, we converted that to natives a few years ago, or they did, and uh, it was pretty immediate the next year quail back in that direction and have ever since and then uh, this past August almost a year ago um, they did some logging over here to my left and created more of a what went from a forested area to uh, more of a open woodland savanna type habitat and they planted diverse natives in there this past winter which are coming up now and I've heard more quail this spring than I've ever heard in the past. And I, I attribute that it's probably because of the habitat additions here close to the house. The conversions have been done because of really for cattle grazing, it's all cattle pasture. And that's really what prompted the, the conversion in the first place, not specifically for quail, but it seems to have had a very positive impact. Um, on the quail populations. The diverse native grasslands have the right structure type. Um, that's another thing the grazing is providing. A cow doesn't ever graze everything exactly the same like a lawnmower. So they graze some things high, some things short with all the different species in there. The cattle don't graze some of them at all and others they graze short. And so there's lots of height difference and creates edge out within the field. To learn more about quail, watch our three-part series with Kyle Hedges. Kyle conducted a recent study that has changed the way we understand quail management.